Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, welcome to 2021, it's the first live stream of 2021 and unlike all my other streams that I've done previously, uh, you're going to find that I'm just finding my legs on this uh, stream because everything has changed. I know it doesn't look like it on the screen, uh, but I've got a pen here and some paper, I'm going to be doing some bug checking because I've got a whole new streaming layout, new software, new program new buttons and dials and i'm still figuring out how to use it i had to train myself yesterday so the first thing i've got to ask is can you hear me because even though the little green things banging up and down on my obs software over here on the actual streaming software there's nothing to say i'm speaking so i'm hoping you can see me that's the first thing <laughs> look i finally put, managed to put some batteries in my infinity gauntlet as well which is pretty cool but uh Yes, I guess you're uh, you're seeing me fine. No one said uh, no sound. So that's the first thing. So basically, I'm using Restream Live Studio now, and it's going to enable me to do a plethora of things. And if you remember from the last year, I said I want to be able to invite guests onto the channel and uh, interact with them. So we're going to be trying that today as well. I've already spoken to Ian Campbell there. We're going to see if we can get uh, Ian onto the stream uh, to talk to us. But a couple of tricks that I'm, I can do now. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to be showing you tonight are the Star Wars bus collection because I haven't even opened them yet so I thought we'll have a quick look at those and there's the other one there of Darth Vader and we'll look at the magazine for that we're also going to be building the Terminator part 86 which I thought was going to be easy but uh, we're actually attaching the arm I didn't realize that I wasn't intending on getting that I thought well, I was going to wait another month and I thought the Agora one would catch up uh, but I've got it so we're going to do that not sure when the Agora one's coming out I haven't heard from them yet so uh I'm glad everything seems to be running smooth at the moment. So the first thing with the Star Wars bus collection, another thing I can do now with this streaming software, which is great, check this out. I can now talk about the website while you've got the image of me here. So this is the Fan Home website here. And uh, this is everything that they've got on there. And this is where you can get your Star Wars bus collection. You've got the Iron Man there as well, Street Fighter. Um, the only thing that I think about this which I don't know if you agree with me or not, is that with the Star Wars Helmets collection, that was quite popular to start off with because it was in the news agents. Um, the Star Wars bus collection, I don't believe, is in the news agents. So uh, Fan Home are going to be relying on the internet advertisement to actually get the word out. I don't think many people know about this because I've only seen adverts on Facebook. Um, but if they were to put like these two issues here, the Darth Vader and the Stormtrooper out in the uh, news agents, like uh, Eagle Moss did for the Ecto-1, I'm sure they'll get a lot more interest. Don't know. But uh, we are going to have a look at the bus collection. So uh, this is great software. Uh, the other good thing about the stream now, are you ready for this? Um, we can now highlight your comments on the stream. Look, Gavin Fry, whoop, whoop, being in the house. <laughs> and uh, I can just flick through the comments now. So when I'm talking about your comment, it's going to come up on the screen. And look, Mrs. Welder Wayne putting a blatant bit of advertisement on there. <laughs> but how cool is that that we can now have our comments on the screen which is good as well but uh this program won't cheap I tell you now. <laughs> uh, and it's not just from youtube as we said we've got uh ricky over here on twitter he says i signed up for the street fighter collection so but did you find out about it ricky from advertisements you've seen on the internet because um i don't know how much of an audience they're missing by not having any in the news agents uh but like scale modeling world evening all evening scale modeling world i'm going to try another twitter one sorry i'm playing with this gaz 1511 over in corby hi when happy new year to you and your family from a corby guy gaz and then i can hide the messages on the screen like, I'm, I'm never going to get bored of that am i that's great look the usual hello christian from grantham <laughs> how's it going i think that's great <laughs> can't stop playing with that i'll tell you um me and mrs world away we did do a test stream uh just to a private room so no one was watching yesterday and it seemed to come out okay as well so now i can invite guests who have either got computers laptops or even on their phones and i'll be able to have them on the screen so uh that's what i've been working at but um i'm glad it's working so uh so good at the moment but i will watch this back later so uh wayne <laughs> you're you're crackling a little i will be crackling a little the reason for that jim uh is because oops i'm, I'm uh, uh, let's just hide messages for a minute is because the way this works let me get this right is the microphone is going through a virtual um uh what do i call it a virtual audio mixer and then it's processing it and sending it to restream at the moment there's some uh differing with that 
which I am aware of. But uh, we'll just have to put up with it for now until I, I fixed it. <laughs> but uh, it's, yeah, it's great software, Daniel. I um, enjoy using it. Um, and I'm glad that I can now highlight messages and stuff. But uh, yeah, that, that little bit of a crackle, I will get rid of it eventually. It's all to do with the audio processing of the virtual mixer. But uh, this is the first stream, and this is one of the things that i got to iron out. So I will write that down. <laughs> Crackling on stream mic. What about my, um, uh, you know, the, the, the lip sync? Is that okay? I don't know. Uh, John Collins. Hello, John from Australia. And while we're talking about that, Arsena, no news on the X-Wing at the moment. I haven't got a clue what's happening with that. Uh, we're about three or four weeks late with that at the moment, aren't we? So uh, the other uh, bad news is that um, I never got a notification or delivery about the Ferrari F40. So everyone's got their Ferraris turning up, 25, 26, 27, and 28, I believe. I ain't got anything. So uh, that's going to take forever, I bet. So <laughs> but how has everyone been? I mean, we've had bad news in the UK, hence why I'm on the Budweiser tonight, not the Rump. We're all locked down again. To be honest with you, for me, didn't really change anything. The only difference is the schools are closed, but my kids weren't at school anyway because their schools were closed in the London area. Um, all the shops were shut anyway. Um, not really any change for us, to be honest with you. So I just keep getting on with my uh, my builds. I'm not sure if uh, WH Smiths are going to be open, though. We heard we did hear some bad news today, of course. Mrs. Welder Wayne is be beside herself because um, we just heard that, I believe, Paper Chase is going out of business. And, you know, paper chases her life. So <laughs> I, I gave her a big hug when I told her that news today. She wasn't happy about that. But uh, so we use Restream to actually broadcast it out to you at the moment. I'm still using OBS, which is the software I'd normally use to stream, uh, to do all my builds. So basically when I uh, press these buttons, hopefully this will work, I can still go to my other camera here, which is cool. That still works. Um, when I'm on the other camera, I believe you can still hear me. So, yep, that's working good. You're all my guinea pigs tonight, I'm afraid. We're uh, just seeing if that works. So, um, Bob Hartsuka. I haven't watched for a while due to work. It's been very busy catching shoplifters. How's the Spitfire going? Not too bad. We've done the guns on the port side wing. I believe the next two issues are going to be the guns on the starboard side wing. So, uh, not much to do there, I'm guessing. So I'm probably going to wait for two of them to come along. I was going to pick one up tomorrow because I'm not sure what we're going to be doing tomorrow for the Patreons. But I have got four issues of the Bismarck here. And the one that uh, I want to do is going to be really, really hard. So we'll have to see how that goes. Um, Wayne, will Eagle Moss and Hashet still be weekly? Well, Hashet will be. I think Eagle Moss are going away from that sort of setup, Bobby. I think they're going more to the, the, the packs that come out a month, so they won't be in news agents. Uh, but I don't know. So, uh, Francesco, guten Abend. Wie geht es dir? Um, <laughs> uh, Steve131, what's Paper Chase? It's a, it's a stationer's, Steve, that sell notepads. And if you've watched the channel long enough, you'll know that something's wrong with my wife. <laughs> And she's got this fetish about notepads. I'm sure she'll trade me in. You know, like a man would trade a woman. That was very sexist, Wayne. You can't say that. You know how um, she would like to trade me in for notepads? How many notepads should, would you get for a Wayne? I don't know. I haven't got a clue. But uh, it was nice meeting Daniel Goldman. I met Daniel Goldman a few days ago. So I've met someone else from the channel. Daniel done the stand for the uh, Spitfire up there. And uh, I was busy admiring your bike, Daniel. And there's Daniel there in chat. <laughs> there's some buffering when you switch cameras. Uh, probably, I wrote that one down. I will write that down as well, Daniel. Thank you. <laughs> buffering on camera switch. I think the reason for that is because I'm streaming on 1080p. It's something that uh, a, a lot of the channels like um, Periscope, because I'm streaming to multiple platforms here, don't support 1080p. So I think it accounts for them, but we'll have to see. But... Uh, Yes, it was nice to meet you, Daniel, and I was admiring your motorbike, much to Mrs. Welder Wayne's horror, because uh, I'm never going to get one. So, uh, oh, Smiths has closed down in Portsmouth, John Russell. I wasn't aware of that. I will need to go downtown. And East Midlands uh, Train Spotter 2021, you've changed your name to 2021. Good evening. You're living down in Market Harbour. I guess you're locked down as well, uh, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> 
Uh, Love the 205 video earlier. Have memories of my apprenticeship. Carl, I'll tell you what, that took me about an hour and a bit to build and about two and a half hours to edit, which is why I'm so glad now that I've changed it so the video is going to be out at four o'clock in the afternoon because I'm not stressing myself trying to get a video out in the morning. So just know that a video will be out uh, between half three and half four every day uh, when videos are due out. But uh, God, loads of changes, aren't they? Uh, the collaboration that I'm going to be doing with Spruverse uh phil siegel over in the spruverse if you don't know phil check out his spruverse.com channel um what we were working on has arrived today and i've had a look through it and i was oh wow i can't wait for you to see it but i can't show you yet because i need to have a chat with phil about it <laughs> so but uh it's coming to the channel movie related you're gonna love it and talking about movie related things i uh i, I found myself watching jaws yesterday the original Jaws. And people keep asking me, what model would I like to build? Well, I'll tell you what, I would love a fairly big size model of the Orca. I've looked around on the internet. There's small models. There's models of the Orca, which don't look anything like it, to be honest with you. They're just, the scales are all wrong and all that. I'd love someone to bring out, I don't know, a one 250 scale, one 200, perhaps like the Bismarck. Now a bit less, 150 perhaps of the Orca. That would be brilliant. So, uh, I don't know who said it. Was it you, D, who sent me about the uh, company in Hong Kong that actually make these things? And I said, I want, I'm dying to get hold of a catalog for this company to see what sort of things are in there. I can't remember what they're called. Part work collectible, premium collectibles, I think the company was called. But wow, that's uh, some, some good stuff there. Uh, Wayne, are you sponsored to do? Uh, are you sponsored to do you have to purchase these to the kids? Uh, when I started, most of the kits I purchased. I'm doing about 25% of the kits I do now, I'm still paying for. Uh, the others I am sponsored for. Uh, but I normally say that in the first videos that I do for those kits. Uh, Brian Anderson, uh, you're really excited to see the finished product of the Terminator. Well, I'm excited to get the, the arm on, which is going to be cool. But um, I, 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 it's, it's mad that the next Agora delivery is going to overtake my Hashit collection deliveries because I'm a month behind everybody else on the Hashit ones. So uh, it's strange how that's turned out, really, isn't it? So, uh, by the way, will you be having the vaccine? Yes, I will be having the vaccine. My dad had the vaccine two and a half weeks ago, and I'm taking him on Friday for the second one. They did say that we're going to put a delay in between the first and second vaccine of 12 weeks, but um, the, they're still going ahead. Three weeks after his last one, he's having a new one in. And look, Mrs. Welder Wayne's answering my questions. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's free of charge, though, because I, I am making all the videos and stuff for it, which takes pretty much all of my time. Uh, Daniel Goldman, it was great meeting you and Mrs. Welder Wayne and not forgetting Phoebe. Yeah, Phoebe drank Daniel's tea. <laughs> so sorry about that. Uh, Partwork Model Bow. Good Narbon. I'm painting the camouflage stripes on the superstructure decks of the Bismarck right now. I'm watching your stream. Can't think of a better evening. I've heard that they're slightly out of uh, sync with where they should be. Uh, I don't know if that's that's the case or not. Uh, but I am putting some work into doing the uh, issue 92, which is the turbine room. I think I've got the color scheme sorted out now. We're going to have like a reddish brown floor, white walls, and sort of like a very light gray for the turbine. Most of it's light colored in there anyway. But um, I'm going to have to paint all of that before we put all of that together. So... Uh, <laughs> Alex Webster, up here in Scotland, we're putting a gate on the border. I think everyone's done that. Uh, th there didn't even have to be a coronavirus, Alex. <laughs> they would have just put a gate on the border. <laughs> Happy New Year, Paul Reynolds. How's it going? It's great being able to highlight the messages now. And it's given more space around here because I haven't got this like ticker tape here. If you want to see the ticker of the chat, it will still be available on YouTube so you can get that. So, Gaz1511, well, I've got me implement lumens it's nuts implement what's that lumens i'm guessing it's some sort of light source you've got uh wayne are you going to be doing the giveaway soon or waiting for the lockdown to be done no i will be doing the giveaway starting on thursday i've seen and we're going to be starting with issues one and two of the fast and the furious dodge charger uh once that's out of the way we're going to be doing get this boxes one to twelve which takes you right up to i don't know issue 50 60 of the Peugeot 205, including all the free gifts. That's going to be a big old parcel, that one. So uh, that's coming to the channel soon. I've also got some uh, issue ones of the Ecto-1 to give away. 
what else have I got? Oh, and Gunny, one, two, one. Uh, I don't know if you're watching the stream. Thank you so much for uh, your Christmas card and the things you sent me. I don't know if you can see them. Let's have a look. Uh, down there, I've got a baby Yoda eating a frog from Gunny. And he also sent... Oh, God, I'm too old for this. <laughs> he also sent this brilliant display of the Cobra logo for Shelby, which I'm really happy about. Let me just hide that message from the screen there, uh, Arsena. Looking like that. But uh, yeah, I really appreciate that, Gunny. So if, if you are watching the stream, thank you so much for that. Michael Bradley, scratch build the orca. I would love to, but I'm having issues with the victory at the moment, cutting portholes. <laughs> and Simp Lord, well, Wayne, have you watched the new season of Cobra Kai yet? Simp Lord, it went live in the UK at eight o'clock in the morning. For you guys, I think it was just after midnight. And uh, eight o'clock in the morning, I was sitting there. And I was still sitting there, I think, at one o'clock in the afternoon. I blitzed the whole thing. Uh, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. So, uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, Daniel, I'm sure you can answer that question to Peter Holland. I was busy looking at the thing. I wasn't looking at specs. Oh, Bergdis, that was you. Thank you for that, Bergdis. That was really interesting stuff, I have to say. I'm, 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 I'm doing a bit of stalking myself on uh, premium collectibles now. So, <laughs> but that's, that's amazing how you find that one out. A funny story about that stalking for uh shipping invoices and stuff i i, I managed to do it once for you and mcgregor <laughs> I, I i see i knew where i, I know where he well i knew where he lived so uh i uh yeah <laughs> that was in my stalking days <laughs> uh, uh steve 131 great film jaws went to la to go on the ride i, I went on the ride at uh, florida I loved it. It's a shame they got rid of that. But I do believe that they still kept a homage there, even though that's all been built on now, I believe, with Harry Potter World, is it? It's taken over that. I'm not sure. And Adam Mallison. Hi, Wayne and Mrs. World. I hope you don't both doing OK. Doing absolutely fine. Thank you. I'm sorry if I'm not getting all of your chat comments. I'm really slow on this new system. So I will I will speed up as I learn to use it. So, uh, yes, uh, Mrs. World, Wayne, uh, I do. I, I, I know that now, thank you. <laughs> uh, Kevin, how's it going, the Nexus? I collect issue nights to a Determinator tomorrow for the news agents. So I'm doing 86 tonight. So you're six ahead of me. Now, when the Agora one comes through, that's going to take me up to 90. So you see, it's going to take me already over there. But uh, there we go. Adam Mallison, looking forward to the Enterprise D. I am too. I believe it's coming out end of February, beginning of March, isn't it? But... Uh, that would be great. I can't wait for the Eleanor as well, to be on, uh, honest with you. Uh, <laughs> and Andrew Davidson, you missed the live streams. I've missed doing them. I haven't done one since uh, me and Esther, Mrs. Rolda Wayne, were, were doing it here. But um, it's good to uh, it's good to be back on the bandwagon and doing it. Uh, John Russell, how's the doll's house coming? It hasn't arrived yet, although she's been building loads of stuff ready for it, John. I did call the company today. They said it's going to be here be either the end of this week or the beginning of next week. They're cutting it out as we speak at the moment. But as you saw in the earlier um, text at the bottom of the screen there, she does have a um, a link to her Instagram page. So uh, all the progress is on there. So hello, Jim. <laughs> Jim needs to speak to you about transfer stickers. I need printed for the NFL helmet if you're interested. Jim, did you see who the Rams have got in the wild cards? I can't believe we've got... I, I, I wasted £50 on a bet thinking the Rams would beat the Seahawks like last week. Or was it the week before? And uh, they've only got to got the Seahawks again. I can't believe that. Oh, John, you've got to go work. Well, thank you for watching uh, so far. I'm sure you'll uh, catch up on the on the on-demand, which is all cool. Uh <laughs> Bergdis, unfortunately, Agora Leopard is climbing up my want list. Uh, I don't know too much about it at the moment, Bergdis, but as soon as um, Agora are back on the scene again, um, I think obviously being the holiday period, they're just catching up with everything at the moment. Uh, then I'll have a look at it, which should be good. Um, D, you're like a kid in a toy shop <laughs> with that news. Yeah, I am. You wait till I invite Ian on here if it works. I don't know if it's going to work. I have to put my headphones on to hear him, but. Um, it's all cool. And, oh, Matt, now it's good to be watching live again. Took some time catching up. We've got a lot of things on the channel. I need to. I need to be uh, making up with it. <laughs> oh dear! Listen, I'm so sorry. I'm behind on chat, everyone. I'm really sorry. 
But uh, we're going to be getting on. Otherwise, I mean, at the moment, it's like 20 past and I haven't even started showing you things yet. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the bus collections first. So let's hopefully this will work. Uh, nope. <laughs> Why didn't that work? Stand by. I did that. There we go. So uh, I'm going to keep looking at the comments just in case I've uh, suddenly gone off. But the bus collections come with free magazines. And as you can see, you've got the collection here. It's a bit worrying. Some uh, Dave Bryan said about the paintwork on some of these, but obviously these are real images here. They're not the busts. And when you look at the busts, I think the only humanoid figure we've got here is um, Darth Maul. But that's been painted as well. But that's what that's looking like. Uh, pretty much how they're making them. And then we do get to see <laughs> the old Cantona band there. Some of the free gifts. Uh, Wicket is that? Uh, yep. A Jawa. And we've got Yoda there as some of the free gifts for that when you subscribe. Uh, so that's that. In issue one, it's all about Darth Vader. And in the magazine, we do get pretty much like we did with the helmets. A history of uh, Darth Vader there. All cool. And then the last one, issue two, we've got about the Stormtrooper here. The Stormtrooper who, you know, God knows what sort of training a Stormtrooper has to do. Because if you've watched The Mandalorian, they're absolutely useless. <laughs> they're more like cannon fodder Stormtroopers are. But uh, there we go. But I haven't actually looked at what these look like yet. So let's have a look at these. We've got the first one is Stormtrooper. So uh, let's open this up. I'm going to need... Where's my scalpel? Has Mrs. Wilder Wayne had my blinking scalpel? <laughs> to use my scissors. My scalpel's gone walkabout. That's not good. I think I took it downstairs, actually. So I will try and open this up as best I can. All right. Oh, God, it's falling out. That wasn't good. Um, okay, so I'll put that on the floor for now. First thing to say about them, quite heavy. They are heavy. They, they are solid. This is what it looks like. I'm just looking at the paint job for this. The paint for this doesn't look too bad, actually. But that is what the Stormtrooper looks like. On the bottom, obviously, it tells you what they are with the licensing. Um, and it's just on a standard plinth here. But not too bad, actually. Compared to the helmets, there's a little bit more action going on there. So kind of like them. Uh, let's have a look how Darth Vader looks. See, look, I've saved this for this stream. Because uh, I haven't opened them at all. <laughs> let's see if I can get them out without it falling out this time. I guess that's a no. There we go. Let's put that on the floor. And wow, Darth Vader looks pretty impressive, actually. There's Darth Vader. Again, really heavy. Uh, the paintwork on this. Well, you can see straight away the silver on the top there. Can you see how that's all, like, bled? That would need touching up. Both the middle one and that one. Other than that, the paint's okay, apart from those two bits there. Which is worrying, because this is just Darth Vader, and it's not like there's a lot of painting they're doing on that. But, uh... I do like it. I really do like it. I can I can touch that up, no problems at all. But uh, and as you see at the bottom there, we've got the Darth Vader logo as well. He's still got all his fingers. I'm sure these things are quite brittle, like the Marvel movie collection figurines. Um, lightsaber. Where's his lightsaber? I'm guessing there's a lightsaber. Let's have a look. There is a lightsaber. Oh, let's get the lightsaber out. Stand by. There we go. So his lightsaber. I'm going to put this on the floor again. Uh, just goes in here. Don't know what way around, but there we go. That's him with his lightsaber in. It'd be good if the lightsaber lit up, wouldn't it? But uh, it doesn't light up. But there we go. So apart from that, a bit disappointed with that, to be honest with you. But uh, other than that, not too bad. Now, I believe two come out a month. And I think it's, I'm paying 17 uh 99 for them so uh that i'm not going to be doing them on the channel just so you know that's why i wanted to introduce you to them now so <laughs> daniel i can imagine some people wincing what do you take out of the box yep <laughs> no i subscribe to them there none of these were um all of my collections not builds i've paid for i'm paying for the victory at the moment as well the ferrari f40 it's not broken it, it, oh, it, it's meant to be out, uh, Arsena. 
it's meant to be out. You're meant to plug it in afterwards. <laughs> Everyone's just reminding me of that. <laughs> Look, everyone, everyone is like Wayne. Wayne. <laughs> I may look heavy handed. I wasn't. Trust me. I knew exactly what I was doing then. I promise. Uh, Simflord. I'm rebuilding an old radio control card I got off eBay. Painting and modern it. Steampunk style. That'd be wicked. Uh, copper and gold metallic paint. External wires and gears. Plus some spare parts for the DeLorean. Um, who sent me? Uh, Gunny121 sent me some spare parts. He sent me um, an issue 14 of uh, the Ecto-1. And he also sent me... I don't know what this is. It's part of the Terminator, but I don't know what issue. He sent me that as well. So if anyone needs this or issue 14 of the Ecto-1, I've got one here. That's what that looks like. Issue 14. There. Looks like a bit of suspension. But uh, yeah, I um, I don't need them, but I think he might have sent them me for, for that reason. To give out if anyone needs it. So. <laughs> okay, but it's meant to be a joke. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be trying uh, i'm just going to hide let me see if i can i've got to stop sharing my screen so i can close this window down here and then we're going to start building the next episode of the terminator so we'll get this one out the change out the way now so i'm going to change the camera now like that i'm going to remove the message there from arsena uh, and we're going to show you the magazine. So this is issue 86. And we need to take this section that we had uh, from issue 85, I believe this came in. And we're going to be putting this together with some new bits here. Then we're going to be bringing the Terminator over, which is why I've got the Terminator sitting over there. This is the uh, uh, Hatchet Terminator. The Agora one's still on the floor down there. We're going to be fitting the arm to the Terminator, which means we're still going to be left with this piece and one of those little ratchet things there as well. So, uh, well, <laughs> uh, nothing's going right. Why doesn't the thing want to change? Let's try again. There we go. So without further ado, let's get cracking. And I promise I'll come back to chat afterwards. Um, I'm still mucking around with this uh, whole setup. I, I, I am really enjoying this. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we need to take the two left shoulder joint sections. So we've got this section, which come in this issue. And we've got this section, which come in the issue before. And the way they go pretty much is, uh, I'm guessing, uh, just like this. I remember now. So we need to slide these bits down somehow. Or it might be the other way. Hang on, I'm looking. No, it's definitely that way. Hmm. As someone uh, did say in chat, because this is an easy issue, I'm going to have issues with it, aren't I? No, nope, there we go. That's gone in absolutely fine it clips into place doesn't need to be glued just like that just want to get that one in there as well and the one on this side which doesn't want to go in there we go so that's that section complete no gaps looking pretty cool uh, we haven't got to do anything else with that one now so we can uh, just put that to one side uh, then we're going to need this section here and one of the ratchets and we are going to be putting one of the ratchets just on top here. So uh, I need my glue. I'm not going to dab it on today because for some reason I've lost my pin vice if you saw my uh, Spitfire video. I'm going to have to get another one of those. Uh, anyway, this one's going to go on here. Revolve it around until it fits flush, which it doesn't want to at the moment. There we go. So now that's flush in there like that. And then we turn it over, and in the other side here, we're going to be putting this metal section, looking like that. It is flat at the side, so it's going to fit in just like that. And now we're going to be bringing over the Terminator to screw this arm in. So stand by. Now, I need to have my Terminator sort of oh god this is heavy hang on a second stand by we've got an issue already i will tell you the issue in a second but i want to just line this up so i can uh show you what we're doing i'm gonna move the camera around about here there we go because we're going to be working on this section here 
Uh, I've got the arm here. And that arm is just going to go over this section here. Just like this. Into place. This is going to be going on this side here. Just going to revolve it around so I can uh, make sure that locks in completely. And then on the other side, we're going to be putting this section here underneath. And we're going to be screwing all of this together once it's in with one of the Allen key screws, which I've already got out here. And they look, whoops, just like this. So I'm going to put that in. Got me Allen key. And hopefully we can get this to go pretty tight. Right, it's starting to bite, so that's a good sign. I said that and then it's uh, not biting now. I don't think I've got this in all the way. No, I haven't. Let me figure out what's going wrong. That's in okay there. This is going to be interesting. Get in there. Yeah, not easy tonight. This isn't going in. Houston, we have a problem. Let's have a look at this and see what's trying to go on here. That's in okay. Just seems like this doesn't want to sit in to this gap very well. I'm going to revolve it around. Oh, I might have. Oh, it's gone in there. Right, okay. I didn't have it in properly. Okay, let's uh, see if this bites this time. Yes, we've got it that time. I think. My uh, camera's making... This isn't working, people. Why is this not going in? Ah, there we go. We got it this time. I promise we've got it this time. Uh, the problem we just had a second ago that I just noticed was one of the fingers fell off. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is put the camera back because that's finished now. Just like that. We're going to turn him over. God, he's getting heavy now, isn't he? Just like this. And there we go. We've got two arms on the Terminator. Now, his finger fell off of uh, this hand over here. I've got it on the floor. And lucky for me, I've got a spare pin for that to go in. Not quite sure where that's gone, actually. I'll have to uh, dig that out. But that with is the Terminator. Not looking too healthy lying there, is he? And this section here and the ratchet that we've got in here, we leave for another time. Just want to uh, straighten him out a bit. Just to make him look a little bit more alive. Now, Partworks upgrades do a fix to stop this wobble in here from the top here. I'm going to try and demonstrate that when I do the Agora uh, model. But uh, he looks pretty dead down there, doesn't he? But uh, it's a shame the finger's fallen off. I can't think why that's fallen off. Somewhere there's going to be a, uh, a pin. <laughs> I don't know where it is. I will find it. Oh, I found it. It's here. So I'll put that pin back in afterwards i don't know why that's fallen out that's interesting I'll have to get that later but there we go so we've done a live build of the terminator tonight pretty happy with that <laughs> it almost went really wrong there but the word for the ratchet key mount is, is a rosette berg disc I, I've, I've since if you've watched the show you, you will see that i've always called it a ratchet so i will try and call it a rosette a rosette like a, a rosette that you wear if you win a race perhaps <laughs> uh, what have i missed <laughs> um Stephen Carrick, Wayne, do you know if the display stand for the Terminator is all battery or is there an uh, AC adapter socket just uh, can't see the batteries lasting long? Stephen, I, um, in the prototype, it was two lots of um, the, the big batteries that we've got, the battery packs. So that's six batteries, I believe, 
six AAs. It might be eight AAs. I can't believe there, if there was four or three in there. But um, there was two lots of those. One, I'm just trying to think. No, there was two lots in there, and they both controlled the lights and the power. And if you only had one on, the, the lights were really dim. So uh, don't forget the washer, Wayne. Um, I, I didn't have a washer. Uh, more? All we got is a ratchet left. And in the pack, we just had this. It didn't actually say about a washer either in the instructions. You can maybe check now. No, there's no washer. So there's no washer in the instructions either. So you're scaring me. <laughs> Fun fact. Nikola Tesla invented the first radio control boat. Really? Mrs. World of Wayne's moaning. She says uh, she's being blamed for lots of missing tools tonight, but I haven't got any of it. Well, uh, the parcel that came from Phil, I took the scalpel downstairs. So I'm hoping there's a scalpel down there somewhere. Don't sit on it. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to we're going to have issues. And here's Daniel. He's rubbing it in now. I said it earlier. When you say it's an easy issue, something always goes wrong. Yeah, it does. But uh, when I said I was going to do this, I thought we we're just putting like three screws together. I didn't realize we were actually going to be attaching the arm. And the first thing is, as you just saw, I took it off the shelf and then blim in the, uh, the finger falls off. So and I, I still can't understand why that finger's fallen off, but I'm glad I've got the, uh, the little model mods thing here. I can fix that no problems at all. But yeah, a bit worrying. I don't know what I was playing at there. <laughs> there you go. I do love this streaming thing. I think what we're going to do, we're going we're gonna to do a test before we go away tonight and uh, we're going to see if we can bring ian on um what's that you should be calling your desk and operating table working on terminators well it's weird that we've got two terminators uh lying down now on the floor just having a look at this the uh i am gonna have to tighten the screws up here i knew right from the start of doing this build even on the agora one that these two screws here which are holding the whole weight of the arms are just not going to do it. And they're just going to keep working themselves loose. And I've tightened them up God knows how many times. And short of putting a thread lock in there, which I don't really want to do, I don't know I don't know what the fix is for that, I have to say. But uh, what's that? Got to have an issue in every issue. Damn, damn straight, Berg. This, if I don't find these problems, then I'm not doing my job, am I? <laughs> Aragorn62 on the bud. I am on the bud. This is what's left over from uh, Christmas. I've got no more old Moorhen shredded sporran. I've got no more proper job. <laughs> Wayne, do you know the names for both Terminator? No. <laughs> Loving the Infinity Gauntlet. Well, I'd sport some batteries for it today. I've had it for a while, Graham, but they, uh, unfortunately, the batteries ran out. I think I left it on one night, to be honest with you. So, um, I'll be coming back to your videos <laughs> if you get if i get stuck chances are uk media watch that if you get stuck i've got stuck as well but uh on my channel you find i leave all the errors in because uh <laughs> it's more fun trying to figure out how i'm going to rectify the problems <laughs> find find some nylock nuts that will keep them intact nylock is that that's like a a, a thread locker is it paul i'm not sure to be to be sure and then jim's uh uh, more beers coming soon, mate. Has those 3D prints turned up to you, Jim? I haven't even checked with that tracking number. I hope so. They took forever to print. <laughs> but I hope you get them soon. Right. I'm going to try and figure out how we can invite um, Ian to the channel. So if you haven't met Ian Campbell, hopefully you're about to. But I'm going to try and figure it out now. So I'm going to go like that. And stand by. Nope, not that button. I'm going to go on to this one here. Uh, this one here. Right, Ian, I'm going to send you a link. And I, when you click on this link, do whatever it says to do, and you'll just pop up. And then when I'm ready, I'll bring you into the stream if it works. So there we go. On your Facebook, you now have a link. So we'll see what happens. I hate these headphones, by the way. I've had them for years. They light up at the sides, but I hate them. I, I need. I wanted to get the new PlayStation Pulse ones, but they're out of stock everywhere at the moment. Um, Andrew Davison. Apparently, my rum is £25 at Tesco's. I've got Kraken falling out my ears now, I'm telling you. It's a lucky I'm not on it tonight, to be honest with you. 
because uh, it's probably going to keep me going till next Christmas. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Uh, okay, we've got Ian in here. So uh, I'm going to bring Ian into the chat in a second. I can see you, Ian, but the others can't at the moment. So uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know if we're going to have sound or anything. So what we're going to do, I'm going to turn that message off and we're going to bring Ian in from Partworks Upgrade. Is this going to work? Tesco's. I've got Kraken falling out my ears now, I'm telling you. There we go. Hello, Ian. Hi, everyone. There we go. That's it cool. Works a treat. <laughs> it does. It works a treat. Big time. And then what we can do now, this is just mucking around with some of the things here, is I can, uh, let's open a window up. Hang on a second. Stand by. We'll put this over here. Uh, I can share, uh, oops, an application window. So let's do that one. And then if we want to talk about uh, something that's on the screen, look, we can all go there and we can like muck around with the screen over here. I can change how this is laid out so we can be big here or we can have those three there or uh, we can, how do I make it go back to normal? <laughs> <laughs> I'm figuring it right. So I need to turn off that screen and then we'll be back to normal. Now, if you start talking, Ian, and what you say is quite interesting, I can maximize you, you see, so then you will be on the screen chatting away and all of that and then i can cut in and say hey, how's it going and then when i turn that off we're both on screen again well i've got something for you wayne do you want to tell the story of that one <laughs> gates garden center ian thinks, <laughs> ian thinks that's what i look like i mean I, to be honest with you and I've, I've shaved the top here but i'm hoping to grow this to like zz top proportions so yeah like we, we was walking around weren't we on a saturday lunchtime and we went in the Christmas section and they had big, big versions of this. And, <laughs> and myself and Esther looked at them and thought, that just looks like you. So I, I just had to get myself one. So I've got my own little wing that sits on, on my desk. Look at that. <laughs> and I'm liking your slimer on your shelf behind you there. Oh, which way is that? Oh, at the that top one. there. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. I've still got a paint mine. I'm, I've, I've ordered some fluorescent Vallejo paint, but we've ordered deliveries at the moment all over the place. And what's going on with all your filament on the shelf? There? Well, yeah, well, all of that's new, the shelving and, and everything. I'm just running out of room. I, I did have my Back to the Future sort of shrine kind of thing going up there, and um, I needed room for my filaments and things like that. So, um, oh, yeah, I, and, and it's nice and quiet in here right now because I've not got the printers going. I've finished printing for the evening. And that's oh, it. Cool. <laughs> and how are we going with the Spitfire stands? Because uh, I know people have been asking me when, when you get uh, stuck. I know we, we got Daniel in, in the channel. So I tell you what, my hat, hat off to, to, to Daniel there. He, he's created a fantastic product. He really has. Uh, and, and excuse the pun, they have flown off the shelf from the store. Uh, well, we're I now on advanced orders. We're up to about 67, 68 orders or something like that. It's amazing. Oh yeah. Well, I don't know if anyone's in chat here, because the other thing that we can do in chat here, uh, goofy looking mofo, I'm going to pick your message, and I can still put messages on the screen while we're chatting, which is cool, just like that. Um, but, and and the other thing I can do is I can talk to you privately, Ian. There's a little chat box for me, and I can say, like, hi, Ian, in the chat box. I don't know where that pops up on your one. Yeah, 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 I can see it, yeah. That's cool, isn't it? So, yeah. um, but I was talking to, oh, let's turn that message off. I was talking to Daniel when, when he come round. I said, you know what would be good? if we had some sort of jig for all our 1.8 vehicles, because pretty much the chassis, apart from the Ecto-1, is the same size. And with the amount of times we have to keep turning them upside down and we're balancing on, like you can see my uh, Super Snake there, we had to balance on that section there. We had to do it for the DeLorean. We even had to do it for the Ecto-1, funny enough. So uh, I don't know if, Daniel, you're looking at that or thinking about that, but I'm sure everyone in chat there will probably agree that they need something. I don't know what. I yeah, did see come on down. The channel last year make something out of Meccano and they could clamp it down and actually spin it around without it like touching. But you, cool. you know what? I, I mean, yeah, Dan's in the channel. I mean, he'll get his design ahead on, I'm sure, on that one. Um, but another one I was thinking, I was, I was, you know, I'll show you actually. Anyone can guess. Oh, wow, that's the uh, figurine for my yeah. flop. That's excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can see the quality. It's really good quality. I've had to sort of smoothen out the uh the, the stl file for it um yeah. but I'll, I'll get some of these sent to you at some point um wayne I've got, the dock, I've got the dock to do as well but i was thinking this when i got the tree supports kind of around it printing the base started off fairly big and it got smaller and i was worried it was just all, all the printhead had to do was catch the top and it would have come off 
So I'm, I'm looking at some sort of jig that holds it in place at a certain height on your printer, especially oh, on the Delta okay. printers because the, the base is not moving. Yeah. Um, and that way you can go to bed and not worry it's going to be on its side when you get up in the morning. You know, yeah, that's it. It's everywhere. <laughs> oh, I, I, had that the, I had that the other day when I was printing. The, the amount of failures I had with the uh, Mandalorian helmet that I was printing, but I perfected it. Taking that central support out ended all my problems. Yeah. So uh, I was pretty happy with that. The other <laughs> thing I've noticed on this, I need to figure out how to do it. There is a way that I can get my name on my side and your name on your side. I haven't figured that out yet. I know I can use cards, so I can just stick a thing up here saying follow me on Twitter. But uh, this is this is great. But the only training I've had was yesterday. <laughs> Mate, you're doing really well. <laughs> it's all working. <laughs> so we are getting this. So yeah. uh, yeah, look, see Carl Williamson here, an adjustable jig with different size legs would be a great idea. And uh, Simflor wants a one-eight scale hydraulic lift for the carpets. <laughs> <laughs> um, Paul Jordan, hi Ian. Best wishes and great items. You sell brilliant work and mods and plasma gun stand and Gatling gun and fixes for the wobble on the. Wow, there you go. Well, we oh, talked thanks, about. Thanks, Paul. That. Really appreciate. I am going to be attending that when we do the uh, Agora models one because obviously we're, we'll be up to that stage. So, but uh, Graham Loki said they're going to be really good to paint. So, yeah, uh, I think he's looking forward to that. Um, God, we've got loads of people talking to you now. Uh, Ian, Hugo, <laughs> saw I already had the Yamaha motorcycle display. And Arsena wants a, dis a, a jig for the X-Wing. Why would you need a jig for the X-Wing, Arsena? I can't think. I mean, I don't know because I haven't had any X-Wing for like 20 years. So God knows what, what's happening to them. It is, it, it's actually quite difficult to, to think what people need because if I'm not building the model, I don't experience the problems they're probably experiencing. So... Uh, uh, yeah, hence why probably I'm quite limited. But if people have got any ideas, uh, send me a sketch, anything, throw them at me, and you know, see what. Well, it's new, and I had to buy one of these. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> measurements. As a matter of fact, someone wants me to measure some parts for the Terminator, but uh, I haven't got around to doing that yet. And Howard here, look, that's Riptide. Oh my God, George, we've come up in the world, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we do. We can have up to six people on on stream. You know that? How cool is that? But it's quite easy for you. I take it that link just took you straight here. Yeah, yeah. He just he went through some configuration, checking the the webcam and sounds, that kind of thing. But other than that, didn't have to do anything. Oh, that is absolutely really good. Brilliant. Well, I'm pretty happy with how how I've done that now. So, but uh, well, I'm going to let you go, Ian, because I'm going to start thank wrapping you. up the stream. But thank you for doing this little experiment today. I really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> so we're back now. That's all good, isn't it? I, I was well impressed with that. That's uh, that's made my day. That has. Uh, I'm I'm still got like all dials in front of me, and it is a little bit overwhelming at the moment looking at what we've got. But uh, I'm glad we can do that because now we can invite people onto the show, and uh, we can talk about things in the works. I'm just not talking about um, people in the modding community, but I'm talking about people from the actual companies, so we can ask questions and see where we go from that. But that was a absolutely brilliant test. Edward Bellamy <laughs> twins. Uh, separated at birth, Edward. Definitely, I think. I think that's what happened. The <laughs> uh, birdish. You need to send some pictures of a wing storage jig that would work for the DC three. Oh, definitely. Any jigs would work. But the uh, what what Daniel and uh, has sorted with that stand, as you saw me doing the guns at the, uh, uh, the uh, the other day, I didn't have to worry about it tipping over or bending or breaking or anything like that. They're so easy to put in. So. Um, uh, I, I had you saw it on the stream. I had made a stand myself, but uh, it, it wasn't the quality that Daniel's was. <laughs> so put him back on. We'll, we'll get you on it. We'll get you on here soon, Jim. How's that for a bit of banter? And hey, Gavin, great idea for interviewing <laughs> World of Wayne. It is, isn't it? It's, it's it's just early ground, early days yet. And I said with, with lockdown looming again, and you know, I think it'd be great to uh, see if we can get some peeps on the show. But uh, I'm I'm really happy how that how that went. Shall we uh, Shall we see if we can get Mrs. World of Wayne on here again? Because she's on her phone at the moment. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it with Mrs. World of Wayne. Stand by. <laughs> she's probably going no. I don't want to come on. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a go. Hang on. Stand by. So I'm gonna go that one. That one. There you go. So Mrs. World of Wayne, I've sent you a link on the uh, on your WhatsApp. Let's see if we can get Mrs. World of Wayne on. Do you still need... I don't I don't need headphones, D. But uh, I'm putting them on just in case uh, Mrs. Wayne... Thank you, Howard. Happy New Year, Wayne. Have some rum. By the way, I heard there might be another robot coming through. 
of the partwork company. Oh my god! Wow, look, the uh, notification worked as well. Oh my god, I didn't realise that. That's excellent. I don't think Mrs. World of Wayne wants to play today. She's not answered her message. <laughs> well, that's sad. She's either that or she's taken the dog for a walk. So uh, that's why Phoebe's not up here scratching the door. But uh, would be cool to do a fan call out. That's probably what I'm going to be doing, Arsena. I mean, the, the, the possibilities are endless now. I think, I think it's great that this has worked. I mean, obviously, I'm going to watch back the stream tomorrow. See if we can sort out that crackling issue. Any any errors that I find. But, you know, for a first stream, this is brilliant. Right, Mrs. World Away has actually turned up with Phoebe. So we're going to bring her into chat now. Hello. Hello. Hiya. Hiya, Hello. Phoebe. <laughs> oh, wow, this is great. Hello. Hello. Wow, Phoebe's going nuts. <laughs> <laughs> see, so now Mrs. World Away's on her phone doing this stream. So when I maximise Mrs. World Away, as you can see, it's... Uh, it's the size of a phone screen, which is cool. Let me just turn that message off there. And then once again, we can go back on here as well. So uh, you can say hello to everybody. Look, baby. Look, hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I need, to, I need to get some new headphones because even though the, the problem these ones have is they only come out of one ear occasionally. And when that happens, I've got to take this controller of it here and whack it as hard as I can on the desk. Needs a bit of percussion, uh, percussive um, persuasion. I think that's what it's called for them any, to work again. Any so, excuse for something new? Yes, I I need I need new stuff. You can talk, Mrs. I've had two hundred million pounds worth of doll's house bits this week. <laughs> we should have a domestic on screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, Bobby Bates. Wait, did Phoebe behave herself over Christmas? She did actually, but she had an enormous belly, <laughs> so. And she's behaving herself down there. So I think she just likes seeing me on the screen, I guess. But no, there's no hiding now. We can uh, we can bring Mrs. World away in wherever we need to. Which apart, is from when, apart from when she pinched a biscuit out of mum's biscuit barrel. Oh, yeah, she did that. Yeah, she, she's nicking food all the time at the moment. Although she's looking really innocent at the moment. So what's that, Marcel? Don't order I'm China or in China. Most of these part works come from China, Marcel. Is that is that what you mean? I'm not sure. Wayne got a new toy for Christmas. Sorry, Gaz, I'll come back to you. Um, I, uh, no, Eric, I got this toy yesterday. <laughs> That's why I've been practicing it. But uh, it, it, they don't just give you this software. You have to pay monthly for it. But um, it was a toss-up between this and StreamYard. But because this does multi-streaming to different platforms, that's why... I chose Restream. Plus, I've been using Restream in the past to bring up the things anyway, but with all this added thing that, you know, messages on the screen, bringing people into chat, putting captions on the screen to follow me on Twitter, that bomb. I can make loads of these captions. So uh, I'll have to get one for your doll's house, Mrs. World Away. I was just about to say that. You need, you need my Instagram account to come up. I'm still setting it up. So, but uh, there we go. Look, uh, Dash Rich, I'm wondering why she hasn't got a World of Wayne room in her doll's house plan. Yeah, everyone's asking why I haven't got a man cave in the doll's house. What's that all about? No, you're banned. Why? <laughs> That'll be in the next doll's house. Yeah, and Paul Reynolds has got a good point. It wasn't the Millennium Falcon, Paul. It was the Enterprise D. Where did you say that the Millennium <laughs> Falcon was going in the front room? I'll show him. Hold on. Uh, well, I don't know if I can turn my camera around. Yeah, you should be able to. I'll just turn the phone around in case I cut you off. He wants it. Oops, hold on. Where are we? Oh, no, wrong way. <laughs> I'm getting confused. Where's that? That's the door. You were right the first time. Oh, there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I want it above the telly, just there in the corner. And but I've she... said no. Paul, she won't let me have it there. No. <laughs> Never in a million years. <laughs> Andrew Davison is Phoebe on a diet after Christmas Phoebe's always on a diet Andrew but unfortunately for us Mrs World of Wayne doesn't believe in diet so she gets fed all the time if it's you want to watch her eating her dinner Phoebe's about that far away from your plate isn't she yep and like if we go to bed and I've got like a biscuit in bed she's that far away from my mouth she's uh she's terrible mm -hmm. absolutely terrible <laughs> but I'm going to leave you to it again thank you for joining me on stream that's okay and when I turn you off, I just uh, click that, and there we go. She's gone. Well, there you go. What a what a night of uh, first tonight. So, uh, what all that leaves me to do is to fix this finger, 
which I'll do in post-production. Tomorrow we're going to be doing the Bismarck issue 91. That's going to be out at four o'clock. Uh, and the Patreon, so it will be a Patreon stream tomorrow, and I'll uh, link that on the Patreon page uh, tomorrow morning. Not sure what we're building yet, but uh, I've got a funny feeling we might start the Iron Man, because I've got Iron Man here as well. Uh, I know we've done it before, but let's do it again and see what happens. So uh, there you go. But listen, uh, it's about five minutes early tonight, I think, but uh, I'm going to wind this stream up now. We're going to be streaming again on Thursday, but thank you all for joining to me tonight. I haven't got a clue how I'm going to turn this stream off because they didn't put that in the instructions. So uh, if I'm just hanging around here doing what I'm doing, then uh, that's what's happening. <laughs> but listen, thank you all for joining me tonight and I will see you on stream uh, if you're a Patreon Wednesday. Otherwise, I'll see you on stream on